What's up, everybody? The Amazing, and I'm obviously out of practice, so let's get started with our review of the NT-02 Orokusaki, a.k.a. my man Kevin Nash, a.k.a. the Super Shredder. That's what I like to call him, and that's what I'm going to stick to. So first and foremost, I want to start by saying uh, this is a third-party item. Normally, I don't even pick up stuff like this, but obviously, everybody makes exception to stuff. So yeah, either way, um, I want to start by saying this thing is dope. It's so gigantic and it's big. And the problem is that it's so big, I, I can't find a way to properly fit it in with what I'm doing on my setup. It's kind of just too cool for school and too big for anything. The scale is about one-tenth, so it kind of has me like all over the place, and I apologize for that. But yeah. Now, in terms of looks, it's more stylized, much like the Krang, the Cerebral. So it looks really good. Head sculpt-wise, you cannot remove the mask, but... uh. The head just looks really dope. So make sure you guys can see. There's no iris in the pupils, so it's just it's all white. The shoulder pads move, so that way you don't have to worry about breaking anything. They're on ball joints, and they move really nice. Uh, be careful, because even though these aren't sharp, coming down on the hands and other parts like the leg, these are actually really sharp and can hurt you. So just be aware. Now, in terms of articulation, you have a butterfly joint that allows you to go forward and backwards. That allows him to cross his arms. Because even though it's not a double jointed, it still comes up pretty far. So that way you can defend yourself. You can do uh, rotate the arms all the way back. It actually has tons of rotation. So that's really good. Ab crunch is crazy because he can go all the way down this far. He can't go sideways, but he can go down. The waist rotates really easy. Like almost too easy. And then leg wise, it comes up really far. Goes out really far. It's almost like a Revo joint on the legs. The legs are double jointed. Leg up to, uh, the ankle pivot is actually really nice. It doesn't go outward, but it does go inward, so you don't have too much to worry about. Now, in terms of posing, though, it's just, it's out of control the ideas you can actually get with this guy because even though he's entirely too large, <laughs> in my opinion, it's just dope because without a doubt, this is one of the most, if not the most posable shredder I've ever seen. He can do all the ninja poses. He can do everything you want him to do and that you may need him to do. The cape is actually wired and it's cloth. This is really dope. I'm a big fan of it. Um, they've done this really well. And the fact that they've taken the time to do that where most companies have not is already a step in the right direction for this third-party company. It gives you incentive to buy. It's something you don't normally get from the companies you normally buy from. So, yeah. Either way, big fan. Now, here's where the really cool thing comes in. Now, swapping hands and weapons for this guy is actually really dope because you make sure he's standing. Oh, by the way, feet are die cast. These, be careful with these. These are actually really sharp and you can hurt yourself or break them very easily. You pop it out and you can swap it with uh, one of his open palm hands. And you're going to wiggle it in till it's in place. And it sits. You got to make sure it sits really well. Pops in, pops off really easy. Don't have much to worry about. It's soft ball joints, just like Cerebral. Now, on the head, this is also really cool because in, although it gives you his semi-unhelmeted head, you remove it from the back right here. It pops up. There's a piece. It opens up. I'm going to take the weapon base. I'm going to remove the helmet. Now, the helmet is actually uh, all die cast. So, please be careful because it's very sharp and you can hurt yourself. Uh, that's one thing about this. This is definitely an, an adult collector's toy. Because please don't leave it around children. I don't want them to hurt themselves or trying to put it in their mouths to hurt themselves. And the shredder head is actually really nice. So I'm going to move the weapon base over. Just pop this head back on. And now you have my main man, Rokusaki, a.k.a. Kevin Nash, the Super Shredder. This is pretty much dope. Um, I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, I just wish it was smaller and a 112 scale. But even at 110 scale, I can't really say I have too many complaints about the figure other than being too big. He also comes with uh, closed palm hands, basically fists. You see the open hands are already on him. And he also comes with hands for holding Raph's size, or his own version of the size, where you kind of just squeeze it in. So please excuse me as I say squeeze it in. <laughs> but uh, just so that he can hold them. So he can hold the size really well. Really dope. Now, weapon-wise, he comes with his own personalized weapon. His shredder sword. It's actually really nice. 
He comes with everything that he that comes with him is all more stylized. So there's Leonardo swords. You already saw Raph size. Really dope uh, versions of Michelangelo's nunchucks, which actually are on the ball and chain, so you can you can actually have a good time with that one. And you get Donatello's staff. And then you get the weapon base. It comes with a ton of stuff. So there's die cast, there's tons of articulation, there's stylized goodness, there's originality. These, if you're looking for something fresh and, and, and new to bring to life to your turtles, this Oroku Saki is definitely for you. If you are a Turtles fan, this Oroku Saki is for you. If you're just looking for something that's flat out cool, this Oroku Saki is for you. Definitely something that you would want to have in your collection if you're just a casual fan or a hardcore one. I can definitely recommend this. And that's, it's very rare that I even recommend third-party toys. But this joint is dope. Um, if you're not getting my man Kevin Nash, there are tons of other alternatives. with Classic Shredder, there's Customs. But if you want something that's just gigantic and imposing... Kevin Nash is the man for you. Go ahead and get it. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the pictures at the end. I hope you're drinking your water. And I definitely hope you're doing good deeds and staying out of trouble. And for those of you who are having trouble with your water or you feel like it's not giving you the energy you need, try to add lemon in the morning and lemon before bed in your water. And uh, maybe to give you the boost that you need. Just, just two lemons and I think you'll be fine. That's the best advice I can give you. Hope you're out there being good yet again. Easy, guys. Later.